Hello guys, hope you're doing good. This is Balagopal Reddy and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be talking you about uh, how we can add the tools to a simple chatbot. So if you are new to this video, uh, I have already made a video where I have built a simple chatbot using Landgraph. I would recommend you to go and check out that video so that you can understand the complete picture of how you can build a basic chatbot. Uh, I'll be attaching the link in the description of the video and let me show you where it is. So this is the video I'm talking about. Okay, let's come back. So in this video, what I'm going to do is first I'll be installing a few packages and then I'm going to explain how, what are the tools that I'm going to add to our chat, uh, our LLM model so that it can interact with them if necessary based on the user prompt. Now let's get started. First, I'm installing a few libraries for working with the large language models. And uh, I'll be installing Langchain for the LLMs, Lang Langchain Grok to invoke the Grok, Grok Cloud access. And uh, I'll be installing Langchain community to uh, you know, add the tools and I have a land graph to build our state graph. And then I'll be installing uh, Reza IO, which is a code interpreter, which I'm going to show you later on. And uh, graph is, is for the visualization of our uh, graph. Let me install them. Yeah, everything is done. Now, now I'm going to retrieve the API keys. So the next step is we have to set up the environmental keys. So uh, in environmental variables, since I'm using Colab, I already have uh, a particular uh, place where I have, uh, you know, stored all my uh, API keys. For this uh, notebook, I'm ju I just need the Grok uh, API key and Tevili and the code interpreter uh, API keys. So I have enabled them. And then let me show you the code, how we can, uh, you know, invoke them. So first I'm importing the OS module. And then uh, from Google Colab, I'm just importing the user data and uh, assigning the variables. So this is how, this is the format uh, uh, where you can uh, define the environmental variables, set the environmental variables. So the first thing is Grok. Let me show you. So this is way uh, I am, I have uh, set up my API key. Grok Cloud is the place where you can uh, get the uh, models, advanced uh, models uh, for free. And there will be certain, uh, um, you know, um, pricing for that, but uh, for the developers, uh, we can access it. Let me show you the models which uh, we can access here. So these are the models. Currently, I am invoking the Lama 3.290 billion vision preview model. So you can do, uh, uh, you can in, invoke any model as per your requirement. And so I am going to the dashboard here where you can create the API keys. As you can see, I have already defined the API key. You can hit uh, create API key and then uh, create it. So now the new thing, the new uh, buzzwords which you might be hearing is the Tevili one and the Reza one. First, let me go through the Tevili one. So this is the Tevili search. This is one of the tool which we use, uh, which we used to so that the LLM can use it to to access the internet. As you can see the description of the Tevili, it shows that connect your LLM to the web. So what it's gonna do is so this is the website introducing our search API. This is the API. It is a nice animation video where they have explained the how how Tevili is gonna interact with the internet. This, this is the one.
So this is how it's going to do. First of all, it's going to search across the internet and then it will sort it with the help of RAG architecture and it's going to uh, retrieve the relevant uh, information from it and will give it to the, our LLM. So that is how the Tabili will work internally. Now, I am going to the Tabili dashboard. So this is where you can uh, create the API key. So far, my uh, so they're gonna give you a free limit of uh, thousand requests. So far, my limit is at hundred, and uh, you can click on API key and create the uh, create this particular API key for the table search. And later on, I want to show you a Riza. This is like a code interpreter uh, tool. This is like a online code interpreter. So what it's gonna do is by just uh, look at the context here. What it's going to do is when you write the prompt to LLM to write some code, that whatever the code written by the LLM, we call it as unsecure code. So because it was generated by an AI. So it's going to, uh, this Riza will provide a virtual environment where we can, where the code can get run. And it's going to return the output. So that is the code interpreter API, which I'm talking. There are a couple of uh, a different code interpreter APIs out there, but uh, it's your choice. I'm just going with the free one. And uh, so I have created the API key here. So this is also free and for the developer version, they're not charging anything. And if you are, if you are going, if you want to use it for the public uh, uh, use case for a project, we have to pay something for, for that. Now, so let's get back and uh, so after we set up the environmental variables, what we have to do is, yeah, we're gonna import the necessary modules from the typing library and typing extensions. Uh, I have imported the annotated and typed it, uh, classes and from line graph, I'm importing the state graph class uh, to create the state graphs and then uh, I'm importing the add messages to append all the messages to a list and uh, since I'm using the tools I have to define a tool node there is a pre-built uh, tool node functionality in line graph which I'm going to use it and uh, we have a tool condition to you know define a uh, conditional edge in the line graph. now I am installing initializing the chat grok uh, model like uh, with the help of chat grok i am invoking the uh, llama 3.2 90 billion um, vision preview model and i have installed i have initialized it let me just interact with the llm so as you can see here we got the output and uh, this means like we got the connection from the grok now Now I'm going to play with the LLM just like, uh, hey, how are you? Let me show you what it's going to see the content. I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. I'm a large language, a large language model, so I don't have emotions or feelings like human. It has given some output, right? And uh, yeah, now I'm defining the tools. So for the table search tool, uh, I have set up the maximum results as two. This means it's going to give, uh, it's going to, Go through the internet and will uh, uh, search for the results and it's going to give the most uh, uh, relevant one and uh, i am a, using the execute python method where you can uh, run your python code generated by the ll so i just cre created a list of tools here and i'm binding them to the okay so table is not defined let me just execute this So, table is, is uh, I haven't run the cell. Now I'm just binding the tools to the LLM so that LLM knows what tools are there. Yeah. And then I'm going to ask a different question to the LLM, like uh, give me current trending events in USA. See the output. If you carefully check the output, the content, there is no content, but 
in the additional keyword arguments we have uh, tool calls and it is showing the query and then the name of the search result too yeah the name of the search result so this means llm uh, knows that there is a tool where you can access uh, this particular query over the internet and get some information with the help of that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask a different prompt, like what is the output of print uh, list of A plus list of B? This is like a Python code. But I'm ex executing it so that uh, I want to show you how uh, the LLM you know, understands the Python code and it's going to give you the output. So this is fine. So far, everything is fine. Now, so far, we have defined the prerequisites to create a chatbot. So we have come halfway. Now, what we're going to do is we need to define the state graph with the, the help of line graph. So first time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to define a define the state for our chart model with and I'm passing the type dict to it. And uh, with the help of add messages, we're going to append uh, all the conversations happens between the nodes. I'm just executing it. And then what we're going to do is we are defining a function, chatbot function that takes the state as the input. And internally, it's just using the LLM to invoke that state's message and it's going to give the output, the response of the LL. So once we have done that, let's define our graph. So with the help of state graph, I have defined the graph and just I'm passing um, our uh, state class to it. And then I'm just adding the nodes. So first, I'm adding the chatbot node. And then uh, we, as we know that we can create a tool node with the help of tools, I've I'm adding a node for the tools. So we got two nodes. What are the functionalities? We can add them in the land graph as tools. And then I am adding a conditional edge. edge so uh, just to uh, clarify, edges are nothing but the connections between the nodes. And uh, nodes are nothing but the tools or uh, LLMs, whatever. So this conditional edge means it's like an if else case. So uh, we will be giving some certain conditions based on the condition, the LLM will decide where to where it has to go. Like LLM has uh, will decide where, uh, like which step it has to take further. So I am defining the add conditional node and uh, edge, and then uh, I'm adding an edge from tools to chatbot. I'll show you. I'll explain you the reason for that. And I'm setting the environ uh, entry point as chatbot. Just compiling this graph now. And let me show you how our graph looks like. So this is the graph. We can see here, like we have a start over there and uh, we have two nodes, chatbot and tools. And the dotted lines are nothing but the conditional edge. Either it can go to the tools or it can go to the end. So this is like, a simple things when you see that uh, when you see in a pictorial view right and uh, you know you can build so many uh, complex uh, architectures with the help of flying graphs now i'm just uh, defining the screen graphy updates where you can see how our uh, assistant will our chatbot will give uh, respond to our requests so this is the way first we are in, uh, creating the initial state and we're just streaming through that uh, graph that's all it's not a thing and i'm just printing the assistant's latest response means the last response once we do once we do that i'm just writing a while loop where i'm just iterating through the uh, stream graph updates method and we're going to get the output
just asking you how are you i don't have it okay it's fine can you give me information about current events happening hello Please. The output here. There were several Halloween events and activities that are taking place, and it has given the URL which he it has referred to, and the content uh, from the content it has optimized the con content and we uh, we got it. There are certain activities taking place across the USA, including village Halloween parade in parade in Manhattan. Which draw over fifty thousand participants and two million spectators, etc. So, just ending the. So now, uh, in order to see what what happens inside, because I have just printed the la last message, but I want uh, if you want to see what's gonna happen internally, I am using pretty. print method to see what's going to happen what are the conversations that happen in that particular run uh, langer state graph which we have defined first human message i want uh, current event in usa for halloween so ai messages it's calling a tool called tabby search and then it is passing the uh, query as current events in usa for halloween so what that tool will do it will go through the urls and give the content to the our llm and then the ai message will then uh, like this is nothing but our llm will optimize this thing so this is how powerful our uh, you know chatbot is when you add the functionality to it and i have asked the question about uh, you know permutations present in a particular sequence this is like a uh, standard uh, coding question in python and uh, see how the conversations happen between the ai and the tools this is the human message and in the ai message it is calling the reza execute python method and it is passing the arguments like from meter tools it has written the code and now the tool message uh, what is the tool message it has created the environment and it has in, uh, you know run that particular code given by the ai and it uh, it has given the output to output Back to the AI, the LLM, and LLM is printing the entire output. That's all from my side, so, guys. And I hope you like the content of this video. And if you do, please subscribe to my channel. It would be a huge support for me. And I'm gonna come up with uh, more and more videos. In the coming video, I'll show you how we can deploy the chatbot in our local lab, local machine. I'm gonna. I will be using the Streamlight the uh, APIs for the. user interface and i'm going to connect it with the with the python code in the backend thank you so much have a wonderful rest of the day